Hi, this is Charity and welcome back to the Super Sim Challenge, a challenge in The Sims 4 where we try to get top level in every career, max all the skills, complete all the aspirations, earn all the university degrees, and do everything you can do for a single sim. <laughs> Carla is pretty much done with being a werewolf. I have all of the werewolf abilities except for maybe one if we want to purchase Legacy of the Lycan at least once. This ability is purchasable multiple times and we already have enough satisfaction points so it's kind of pointless to get it over and over again but maybe we'll do it once. We've completed all the werewolf aspirations so that's not a problem. Now today is Sunday and it's almost the end of the day but that's because I did all of her university homework already. Okay, and that's the last ability point. So apparently you can't drink the Wolf Be Gone while you're in werewolf form. I guess that makes sense. And goodbye to being a werewolf. That's our last werewolf aspiration complete. Okay, it said she got the werewolf ally trait. And then it says Werewolf Ally from Werewolf Diplomacy when you hover over the trait. So I guess we don't have to get a second werewolf to move in and give her that ability. She got it automatically from being a Cure Seeker. Oh no, she, from the Cure Seeker she got the reward trait Lunar Link. Sims with the Lunar Link retain the special benefits of the Lunar Cycle once th they once felt as werewolves. And they can still howl just like old times. Well that's fun. Yeah, she can howl, even though she's not a werewolf. Alright, well, that's cute. Okay, there are several occults that we haven't done, actually. Because we haven't done Spellcaster, and that's the one I want her to remain as. However, there's also technically Plant Sim, and I don't know if you can be both a Spellcaster and a Plant Sim. And there's Mermaid. You definitely cannot be a mermaid and a spellcaster. And I know mermaid doesn't have an ability tree and neither does plant sim, but we do need to manifest as them in order to get the milestones. So I'm just going to purchase the mermatic kelp in order to get the one for the mermaid. We'll do that one next because it should be short and it's also a little annoying. And for this one, we have to go to a place with body of water so that we can get in. We could also just make a swimming pool, but let's go to Solani. Okay, and when you're a human sim, the way to become a mermaid is to first eat the mermatic kelp and then to go into the water. So what kind of mermaid will Carla be? Oh, that's actually kind of pretty. Now, you can change their tail and Kaz, so we are not stuck with that one, but that one's not too bad. The only thing is we do need to change her top. It randomizes the top. Okay, maybe it is a little much, but this is the best I can come up with for her mermaid form. It's because she's maximally fit and maximally skinny, and it's really hard to make that look right in a feminine form. So... I basically gave her a lot of color. Okay, we'll swim around. We'll call over a dolphin. And that's pretty much all that we can do as a mermaid. You can change the weather, however, without taking a chance with the weather machine. So that is one thing that, that mermaids have that no other occult has. Oh, look, here's a dolphin. It's actually kind of cute. And where are you going? Okay, the dolphin left. Soulmates? The deepest connection between Sim and Porpoise? We have a soulmate dolphin, okay? For some reason, they don't have friendly. It's only a love connection, but it's green instead of pink. That is really weird. We can go free diving. Okay, in order to turn into a regular Sim from a mermaid, you just have to eat two mermatic kelps. And then all the mermaid options are gone. Into the portal we go. And we finally enter the magic realm. Okay, now Carla has the magic traits. So if she asks for right of ascension, she doesn't have to do the stupid tasks for gathering the moats. So that's one of the benefits of being born with the spellcaster traits. 
is that you automatically get in. And I have no idea where the trait is. It's somewhere on this list. But anyway, she has ancient bloodline. So she doesn't have to do the task of, of gathering the motes in order to prove herself worthy. And Carla is now a spellcaster. And we're well on our way for the spellcraft and sorcery. We have to meet all the sages so they can teach us some spells. Okay, we know three different spells now. One from each of the sages. And we just need to reach spellcaster rank two. Okay, one of the other milestones that we have to get is actually getting a proposal rejected. Now, Carla is really good at getting people to accept her advancements. So what I thought I might do is max out Agnes Crumplebottom's friendship and romance because she is hard-coded to reject all romance advances. I'm not sure if we can propose, though, unless she's already our girlfriend. That might be a problem. We're just working on a chatterbot right now in order to get our bot savant membership back up to senior. We already have senior membership in the Foxbury Spirit Squad and the Brainiacs. So order of enchantment, we need to offer some things on the altar. And then the bot savants, we just need to craft a few things. All right, and all we needed to do for the bot savants was to craft one chatterbot and we're good. And our order of enchantment is now back up to senior as well. So we can ignore the university events. We maxed out our friendship and romance with Agnes Crumplebottom via Social Bunny because every single romantic interaction you do with Crumplebottom will fail. The only thing is, I don't think I can propose to her unless we're already girlfriends. So, and I probably have to do a first kiss as well. Oh no, I can ask to be girlfriend right away. But I kind of think that is going to get rejected. Oh well, I had to be crumple bottom. I'll ask her to be girlfriend and then maybe she'll ask me and then I can try proposing. I want the proposal to be rejected, not the girlfriend. But oh, she's already in a bad mood. She's angry. Well, this is going to be my crumple bottomed. Yeah, she says no. Yep, and there we go. We are crumple bottomed. And she's angry. Oh well. Um yeah, so I only have a few romantic interactions. Caitlin is always asking me to do stuff, but Stephanie never asks me. I don't know why. Stephanie has a slightly stronger romantic attraction to us, but Caitlin is really good friends with us. So I think that's probably why she's always asking us to do things. I'm hoping that now we'll get things with Agnes. So maybe Agnes will ask to be our girlfriend. And if Agnes asks us to be our girlfriend, then we can say yes. And then we can propose to her and get rejected. So I'm hoping that's what happens. Because otherwise, I don't see any way that Carla is ever going to get rejected by anyone. I will go through the romantic aspiration. And I kind of think that that will not help us, basically. But we did get the crumple bottom milestone, hopefully. Yes, we did. Okay, so we got that one out of the way. So it's the start of the term, and we're going to go give our presentation right away. Hopefully, we'll get back by 11 a.m. Although it takes her until 9 a.m. to walk to the spot where she's supposed to go to give the presentation. This is so annoying. I hate how it's a different spot that you have to go to to go to class and work versus giving the presentation. It's like the default spawn-in spot for the zone is where you go in order to give your presentation. And now we're going to be late for class because it's already after 9 a.m. Pretty sure the presentation takes about two hours. Oh, it only took about one hour. Okay, that's not so bad then because it's going to take an hour for me to go back to my house. Okay, at least this time she's jogging. Last time she walked. 
Yeah, it's a 45-minute jog to her house from the default zone-in point. Okay, Agnes is asking us out on a date. I'm going to say okay, but this is not going to go well. I don't even think we can kiss her. I basically think that every single romantic interaction is going to fail. And yeah, that's basically what happens. Even though you asked us out on a date. All right, we'll just be nice then. What if we make Agnes flirty first? She's in a happy mood now. And we shoot her with an arrow so she's in a flirty mood. And then we won't be flirty with her. We'll just be friendly. Oh, that didn't seem to work, actually. Now she's tense. Oh, because of the comedy. Yeah, don't be funny. Only be friendly with her. She doesn't like comedy. Okay, and now she's randomly angry. Man, Agnes is going through all kinds of emotions. She went from tense to happy to angry to happy. Uh, I just don't get her. She was confident for a little bit, too. All right, if we have a nice date, because we keep it friendly... Maybe she will ask to be our girlfriend. Okay, that was a nice time. And she says, I'll call you maybe. Okay. Goodbye, Agnes. Lightning aged up and is now an elder horse. Okay, so we don't have too much longer with lightning. We finished all our homework. And now we're just trying to get this last level for the next step in our spellcraft and sorcery aspiration and the purveyor of potions aspiration um pack wild things back are we still part of the wild things yeah we should probably not be since we're no longer a werewolf i completely forgot about that oh i can scrub a room my chickens it's hard to get them clean when they have a dirty coop. Okay, I scrub over the chicken. The chicken isn't... Okay, he's clean. It's just the cloud takes a little while to go away. That's awesome. I didn't think you could scrub over the chickens. There's no other way to clean them, really. You should be able to clean them, but you can't. And these sprinklers will also clean them, but they have to walk by the sprinkler and they have to stay next to it for a certain amount of time. It seems like it's really hard for the sprinkler to clean them. Sometimes The Sims is pretty good with pack interactivity, and sometimes not so good. And yes, I cleaned the coop, and then I called the chickens in, hoping the chickens would get clean, but no, they don't. So basically, once you let the coop get dirty, your chickens are dirty. And the only thing that you can do to clean them is wait for it to go away, which means they have to spend a really long time in the coop or they have to spend a really long time not in the coop. I don't know which one fixes it, but the other ways are the sprinklers. And now I discovered that you can magic scrub them and it doesn't give you the option to do that if they're not dirty. Okay, we're going to tell Rory that we're leaving the wild things. And yes, I'm going to take the cure because I did take the cure already. And then, hopefully, we can still be a friend of the wild things. Oh, she didn't look very happy about that. Okay, seriously, I mean, really, you're just going to abandon everything? Fine. Well, Christopher took it well. Rory didn't. Okay, maybe we can ask to be friend of the wild things. We're still friends, right, Rory? Okay, so now we're Friend of the Moonwood Mill Collective and Friend of the Wild Things. For some reason, Rory doesn't allow you to stay Friend of the Wild Things when you leave. She gets pissed and kicks you out. Well, lovely weather we're having here. All right, we have advanced to the next stage in our spellcaster journey. But it is time to go to class. For some reason, I am not getting promoted in my job, even though several days have passed since I was supposed to be at work, and I've just been taking days off. So I'm going to try negotiating a bonus again. Hopefully that will make my performance not bug out. And then take another day off. Now, I could just go in and probably get promoted, but I don't want to do that because I have university. Oh, it also might be that I'm working from home and I'm taking vacation days. 
maybe next time I should just let it roll around and not worry about taking a vacation day or calling in sick. Because I think my work from home assignment needs to be turned in. Well, we'll just keep working on our magic skills. Um, okay. So she actually did make the one where you pass out because you failed at making the potion. All right. I didn't expect her to be able to do that. I thought that she would always succeed. We have a potion of questionable contents, which is actually important because that makes the next potion you take never fail. Did we get cursed from that? No, it doesn't look like it. All right. We have brewed five potions and we need to know five different potions but it's almost time for school again for some reason my ranch hand and my butler are refusing to take care of these chickens okay now we know five different potions then we need to get 10 different potions and reach spellcaster rank five well i guess we'll take a little break to fight father winter for presents Technically, Father Winter is our dad, but not this Father Winter. So the game is kind of complicated like that. And we win. The only way to be a plant sim is to get the magic beans. And since that event is no longer going on, you have to buy rare plants and hope you can get all of them. So Carla has a lot of money. It shouldn't be too hard to do it, hopefully. We've already got an angry magic bean. You can also get them from dumpster diving and sometimes from the dust bunnies. But to be honest, oh, we got a gem seed. Oh, I didn't know those were coming in the rare plant packets. Well, that's interesting. Okay, we have two sad magic beans, an angry magic bean, a playful magic bean, and an uncomfortable magic bean. All right, we only need five of these. And we completed the Magic Plant Sim collection, which was the Confident Magic Bean was the last one. Okay, now we're going to water this and turn it into a tree. Uh. And there we go. First time you go in, you'll get the forbidden fruit of the plant sim. And that's what we have. And we're actually going to plant this one because I don't want to use this one up because it's hard to get another one. Let's stop by in the magic realm, learn some new potions, get some new spells, and duel some spellcasters. Okay, I did a rude introduction to this person and we're good friends. Great. I don't like that. I don't want to make too many friends. Well, it's too close to class. I did not get a chance to duel anyone yet. We'll just go home. Oh, come on. No one is taking care of these chickens. I forgot to feed you. I'm sorry. Oh, and I got promoted. Uh, we'll work from home. Maybe if I keep working from home, I won't get that bug where I don't get promoted. Oh, our cow plant is grown now. Now I can eat the cake eventually. Um... We have to wait for the cake to appear, though. So after school, we're back to the magic realm. We need to learn a few more spells and potions and then try to duel some people again. Okay, it just says win three duels against other spellcasters. It doesn't necessarily have to be different spellcasters. And dueling for knowledge is the best. Either that or artifacts. Oh, come on. You can't be serious. I was very confident, too. What level are you? I'm going to cast a bad spell against you because you shouldn't have been able to beat me. All right, what about Fennel? I think it's because if you duel for knowledge, you're less likely to win. Which means I probably will get cursed. But, oh well, I'm going to take the chance. Oh, and they're using wands and I'm not. I don't know if that makes a difference, though. Maybe it does. Yeah, I'm going to lose too many duels and end up cursed. Well, Carla, you're not as good as you think you are. Okay, I'm not going to take a chance with this one. I'm doing a friendly duel. I have a wand and a familiar out. So hopefully I get a little bit of an advantage for that. Um, I'm still losing. Why am I losing? And yeah, I got unwanted hostility. Okay. I knew that was going to happen. 
Like, why can I not win any duels? Am I really that low of a level of spellcaster? I thought that I was pretty good. I'm an adept. Apparently that's not good enough. Okay, let's try a heated duel this time. It doesn't matter if I lose over and over again because I'm already cursed. Alright, this time I won. Okay, another heated duel. She seems to win the heated duels more often for some reason. We made him angry. Okay, and then this will probably be our third win. Yep. Okay. We don't have to duel anymore unless we really want to. Okay. It has to be three different spellcasters, I suppose. That's annoying. Doesn't specifically say three different spellcasters. It says three other spellcasters. <laughs> All right. Does that count, or was he the other one that I defeated? I forget. No, that did not count either. Okay, we had to find somebody new. No, I lost that one. Okay. And I lost that one right away. I guess it depends on what level they are, but you can't really tell. They don't let you know what level they are. Well, practice makes perfect. Alright, she is a low-level spellcaster because she's stumbling a lot. And I still lost. Okay. Let's try one more time. Oh, I actually gained a level. Alright, let's try Emmy. The other girl walked off. I can't get them to stay around once they win or lose a duel. Oh, she might be within my range. Okay, I won this one. Good. I don't really like dueling over and over again. It's too repetitive and takes too long. Alright. So we don't need to do that anymore. We just need to reach Spellcaster rank 5. And same with the potion one. And we're promoted to the top of the career ladder for the botanist career. Well, I guess that means it's time to change careers. The next one we're going to do is the marine biologist, which is part of the conservationist career. And we are a level eight. And we need to take photos in Sulani. So I guess we should go there. Okay, taking five photos actually only counts as one. And of course that gave her the phone fanatic quirk. Great. I don't like that one. Oh, maybe I'll clear my quirks eventually. Okay, now that I have copy pasto, I'm okay with drinking the curse cleansing potion. And we got our final grades. So we have another degree down. Graduation will be tomorrow. Okay, we know all of the untamed magic. We need one more mischief spell, two more practical magics, and one more potion. Oh, my cow plant just had the cake pop up. Well, you know that what that means. We get to eat the cake of the cow plant. Yummy. Yucky. Okay. <laughs> she loses all of her good buffs. Wow. And we have been eaten by a cow plant. So that's a milestone. Now I have that drained and comfortable buff for two days. If I drink a potion of emotional stability, it gets rid of it. So you could actually eat the cow plant more often. Well, you could actually eat the cow plant cake more often. Okay, we are now a purveyor of potions and a wonderful spellcaster. It's actually funny because it is storming in my game in Del Sol Valley. And right now, this is the weather where I am right now outside in real life. So it's kind of interesting. Okay, so now we know all of the spells, all of the potions, and we have some of the abilities, not all of them, but I think we'll get those organically. And we're not going to worry about grinding those out. Just as she gains spellcaster experience, I will eventually purchase all of these. 
What wonderful weather to take pictures in. Oh, great. Oh, we need to survey ocean for wildlife and take samples from the ocean. Okay. Yeah, you got struck by lightning. Okay, how do you survey the wildlife? I need to find some wildlife. I'm not sure how I can survey anything. Well, let's just go to the Finchwick Fair. I really want to get the ribbon for this week, so maybe we won't get promoted this time. <laughs> All right, we're here at the Finchwick Fair. We're going to submit our eggplant and then make a pie or aubergine. Okay, there's our aubergine. Not sure what kind of pie might be worthy of a good prize, but we really don't care. Let's just make a basic apple pie. And of course we need to ruin our reputation again. Okay, we got first place in the oversized crop competition and third place in the pie competition. Good, that's what I wanted to happen. We actually got two different rewards. So I think the best bet is to be off the lot when those competitions happen. Because right now I'm just looking around in Sulani trying to find the ocean survey things. But basically you have to sit at a buoy and wait for a dolphin to pop up or a sea turtle. Or you have to be lucky enough to see the coral spawning and it has to be coming to life. There's like a green... Thing. I've seen screenshots of it, but I've never seen it happen in real time. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to finish this task or not. Now I could enroll in the university again and get another degree, but Carla's not going to do that right now. She's just going to sit here and play on her phone. And I'm going to try and finish this task for the career that she's in. And then I think what we'll do next week is instead of enrolling her in university, I will attempt to get burnout. And I think the only way that she can get burnout is if I go to a low level career and work hard every day. So we might try that for a week and give university a small break. So this is Charity. Thanks for watching.